Microvolt 3900 uses several simple labeling conventions to make the user interface and signal flow easy to understand. The labeling is meant as a starting point and not a definitive rule. Experimentation is key. Large white outlines are used to separate individual synthesizer sections. Internal signal paths are shown using an arrow pointing in the direction of the signal, followed by a line leading to the signal destination. Most internal signal paths can be rerouted using the patch bay. The modules of the microvolt are interconnected internally, but if you use the patch points, you have access to most of those interconnections, which means that you can reconfigure the microvolt to do just about anything you want. The Microvolt 3900 signal path is divided into two basic types of signals, audio signals and control voltages. The audio signals carry the sound that is produced through the synthesizer. The audio signal path starts at the voltage controlled oscillator before passing through the mixer, filter, and VCA. Audio signal levels vary depending on their location in the signal path. This allows each synthesizer section to have the perfect signal level for the desired sonic results. In this series, we will talk about each section, one at a time. Patching allows you to explore your own ideas about how modules should be interconnected, and it also teaches you an awful lot about signal flow. How the individual modules interact will vary greatly depending on how they're interconnected. Control voltages, or CV, are a static or variable electrical signal used to indirectly manipulate the sound by controlling the circuitry that processes the audio. This can be done using a few different types of control voltage information. Gates are represented by a high or low control voltage to create a binary on or off state. A gate can be generated using a pulse or square wave or by using the gate or clock output from the MIDI module. A gate can be shaped to change over time using the function generator or envelope generator. This creates a more complex control voltage signal. An LFO is a perfect CV choice for repetitive modulation. The random voltage generator can be used to add subtle differences or total chaos to a patch. Don't forget, audio signals can be used as a control voltage source too. Audio rate modulation is always an interesting world to explore. Now that we've talked about the instrument in general, let's take a look at each section one at a time. In the next video, we'll start by talking about the voltage controlled oscillator.